So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and today we're going to go through another Magic Monday video. What we are going to talk about or I'm going to show you is how to remove duplicates on multiple columns. I've um, showed you in a previous video a way to do it but it was not perhaps the fastest or the best so I've got help from Colin to um, create, uh, to, to understand how this was done faster and I'm going to show you. So I'm hoping you will enjoy it too. So let's get started. Okay, so this trick is from Colin Taylor. He actually watched the Create Hierarchies in Power Query video and in there I was actually um, the, removing duplicates from two columns and I was doing it in two steps and he told me Ruth, you don't need to do that. This is the way to do it. So um, we're going to go through the steps of how to do it and we're going to do this in two ways. An easy way and then explaining how it works. That will be perhaps not the difficult way but the explanatory way we would say so. So just uh, let's, let's just begin. Okay, so here we are in Power BI and this is actually the same example that I have on on the video that, you know, the Power Query hierarchies. So if we go back into the apply the steps, we will see that we have here a column, two columns, the position number and the level. And to remove duplicates that are on both rows, what I did, it was actually uh, merge both or concatenate them and then remove the du duplicates on the custom row. You can see it here, table distinct custom. But that is actually not necessary and that's what uh, Colin showed me. The only thing you need to do if we go back to this step is you press the first column, create, uh, click control, press the second and then right click and click remove duplicates, insert. And what it is doing, as you can see, is using again the table distinct function, but it is adding a new column. So instead of having just one column, it's adding two. So if we look in the Microsoft documentation, we can see here that it's actually, it says it removes duplicate rows from a table from a column. So of course you can have multiple columns in it. I don't think that the explanation is very good. You can check it out yourself. But um, yeah, it, it basically says that it allows for multiple columns to do that. So if we, let's remove these. So we see it again. If we go here in remove duplicates, what I was doing, remember, I concatenate these and then create a custom column and then table distinct. It just, here you see custom, just one row. While we could have done exactly the same table distinct and then take two rows instead of one. Okay. So click one, control, click the other one right click remove duplicates and there you have it so now you know <laughs> how to remove um, duplicates from multiple columns perhaps you knew i i just didn't I, and i'm happy that uh, i learned this because it's going to be very useful i've done this trick of concatenate and removing a lot of times and the thing is, I've never actually looked at the function to see what it was actually doing. This is a table, so of course you can add multiple columns. You know, when you're just clicking things, I, I'm not always looking at the, at the functions, at what is actually being created in the background. So then that I think I will have to start doing more. So I don't have to do all these workarounds that I do sometimes. But uh, I really hope you find this uh, trick useful if you didn't know it.
Okay, so before you go, I just want to have a small or a big announcement. And it, it is that on Tuesday next week, that will be on May 30th, this is in 2017, Curval will have its first live streaming video session. And we are actually having Colin as a guest speaker that he's going to show us how to batch rename columns and change table ordering. It's a very, very powerful trick. And um, if you want to see it live, if you want to meet us live, just uh, I will post this link into the description box so you can just uh, go there and set a reminder to make sure you don't forget it. If you are not able to do this, don't worry because I will record it and publish it on the channel so you can watch it later. This is going to be May 30th, 2017, 8 p.m. Stockholm time. So if you don't know what your local time is um, from the Stockholm time, don't worry, because when you click on the link, I'm guessing that uh, YouTube will convert it to your local time. So go there, make sure you meet us on Tuesday, May 30th. We would love to see you there and learn some Power Query together. So this is all. That's all for today. I really hope you enjoy this really, really simple but cool and useful trick. If you like the video, let me know by liking it. If you have uh, any comments, questions, suggestions, let me know in the comment box uh, or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe and share. I publish Power BI videos every single week. Have a great, great evening. Bye.